Luckily, it's pretty darn easy to win, but we are at the third area, the Volcanic Crater. It's not always the most fun area. It's a little difficult, but it's also very interesting. It's really cool area. I remember getting, being so mesmerized when I first got here, and there's also a hidden little scout fly right there. We gotta be careful. You can just die on the first little bridge part. Like, hey, I'm in the new area. Ah, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Which is just great. Now let's get us up here and open up the teleporter for Samos and Kira so that they can come on through. Oh my, looks like this place is pretty destroyed as well. Look, I always wonder if I'm losing body parts in those things. Probably are. Holy yakow! The Red Sage's lab looks worse than the blues. Say that well, again. It definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly oh, no. not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? Ah. You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the dark eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends, you old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eagle can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. Oh my. You can't control Dark Eagle by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've do. had to scrape by oh, with what little Dark Eagle kind of we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos! Yes! The silos? The silos! They will no. be opened, and all the Dark Eco of the world will be ours! But that's impossible! Only a precursor robot- Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> she really likes cutting him off. <laughs> Maybe we'll finish the sentence. Wait a minute! Oh my. That was Gull? The same Gull who's supposed to change me back? Gull is the guy trying to kill us? I'm doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer heat shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. All right, well, it looks like the main origin for our adventure to change Zaxxer back has sort of been thrown off course because he's the bad guy. Hey guys, keep collecting power cells. They're the key to continuing our journey north. Okay, that's why I thought you were gonna give me some more helpful information. In over their heads. Yeah, they have. Great bowls of eco. There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider caves. Oh. Right. Sounds like a real cheery place. Uh huh. Let me guess. There are spiders in the spider caves, right? Yep. Of course, there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! All right. Yes, yeah, Saxer was a human. You can find out more about that by watching the first episode that was uploaded earlier today. But, uh... Yeah, is this the way we came in from? No, we came in from the other way. There are several different areas here, as there is in every area. There's still more characters to see, but this area has the least characters to meet out of any place. But these two guys are down here. But yeah, that's why uh, Gaul and his lady friend, I forget her name, are uh, the way they are is because they have been consumed by Dark Eco. And you never really see what he looks like normally, and that makes me very interested. Was he like a normal good guy before the Dark Eco, or was he always pretty sinister? Either way, these two guys are fun. Hey, Gordy, duh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us two. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. <laughs> duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! <laughs> Actually, Willard! We 
ourselves, not gems. We got four of them. Do uh, you want them? What Birdbrain here is trying to say is, we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? <laughs> he ain't digging. <laughs> so we can give them 90 orbs for four power cells. How many do we have? We have 375. So we need 360 to get all four, so we'll get all four. It's sort of kind of a Spyro reference, I guess. I mean, not really, but he does say at one moment he's all like, we don't get power cells, we get, we, I mean, we don't get gems, we get power cells, which both Crash and Spyro get gems, so it's sort, sort of like, I don't know, reminiscent. Either way, we'll start trading with him. Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Unfortunately, he doesn't really have any custom voice lines for each one. He goes, oh, all right already, every time. So I'm gonna hear that three more times, but that's why I wanna get it all the way now. Dig. Oh, oh, all right already. already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Thank you. But this is an easy four power cell, so I don't mind it. There's also the, uh, another one of the oracles here, so we can get another two that way, but we need another 240. So this is a better way to do it. Oh, all, all right, right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. All right, only one more. Why does he have a pickaxe if he doesn't mind? I don't know. Willard seems a little weird though. I think that maybe he is mining and Willard just doesn't even notice. Either way. Oh, oh, yeah, I got it this time. Uh, oh, okay, there's one there. Here's a, uh, uh, here's a, a power cell. Oh. Yeah, yeah, what he said. That's it, you cleaned us out. No more power <laughs> cell. They make an interesting team. We should have a spin-off game with those two. What I also like is that he's like the literal definition of a bird brain. Because honestly, he didn't have much room there and for the bird, for the brain. There's just a bird right above his eyebrows. Anyways, we can talk to him again. Why don't you two make yourselves useful? Lurkers have been excavating the dark caves over there. Seems they're looking for precursor artifacts. They can have the artifacts for all I care. For all we care. <laughs> well, it feed you, bird. All I care about are gems. But I ain't gonna be able to get the cave's gems, cause when they're through, they're gonna collapse the place. If you take out the lurkers chewing at the support beams, you could save the cave for me. Now beat it. I've never seen that. I've definitely never seen that before. I don't know what it is, but I guess I'm playing this game more diligently than I ever have before, cause I'm missing little cutscenes like that that I've definitely never ever seen before. It's exciting. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I've missed too many. I think that we've gotten the most of them now, but I don't know, I guess I've never really took the time to talk to some of the characters after we've done what we need to do for them. We really should run through the entire game again once we beat it to make sure nobody else has anything new to say, because now I desperately want to know. Because like, I don't know, these characters, you learn so little about them, it's just any kind of like anything about their personality that becomes interesting to me, at least to me, because I'm, a total nerd about this game. But we'll be going to the Snowy Mountain area first. There's the, the, the Spider Cave and the Snowy Mountain, and those are the only two areas here. Um, We'll be doing the Snowy Cave first, or not the Snowy Cave, activated but combine them. The gondola. It can take you to Snowy Mountain. Use it whenever you want. It's not the most creative name, but it doesn't need to be. Um, There's actually something, you know that thing that was in the uh, race we just did with the lurkers? There's that thing we need to activate. You activate it here. You also need another thing that's activatable that's in the Spider Caves, this also activates that, I think. I'm pretty sure. But uh, we'll head on up here and see what we can do in the snowy caves. Now also guys, uh, let me know if uh, you would like to see two hours of Jack tonight or just one. I think we'll do two, maybe. Maybe we can even beat the game tonight. Maybe we just beat the game before midnight. That way we can start the new year's off with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That'd be fun. We'll try to beat the game tonight if we can beat it before midnight. Whoa, snow lurkers! We're at Snowy Mountain. I like it. Ow, that hurt. Come on. And punch you. Punch you. Oh, you know what? I forgot how these guys work. I think they can definitely pop out. All right, well, that's gonna be a bit difficult. We need to, you see these little things with the barriers? Every time we see one of those, we need to get rid of it. This is probably one of the most difficult areas in the game, and we got ice lurkers. Um, not only because there's just lurkers that indefinitely pop out of the snow, 
fun. Oh, there is there. A, I think there is. There is some orbs that hide in the snow that are very difficult to find. You got to be really diligent with those. Not only that, but um. Come on, come on. Ready? Whoop. But the checkpoints are not forgiving in this area. A lot of the times when you die, you gotta go back to the beginning. And that's really tough. So uh, we'll have to be as careful as we can possibly be. These enemies look unique. Yeah, this area is very cool. Probably one of the most difficult areas of the game. I was not a big fan of it when I was young because I would just constantly die. And those little snow lurkers that pop out of the snow would just scare me because they're really good at sneaking up behind you. And like you can tell, there's a lot to this area. It's very sprawling. There's like a couple different directions you can go. I think we need to take this red eco and go this way because there's a couple things we can do, including taking care of lurkers and getting punched in the face by them. But also there's these things right here. So they're destroying more, you know, artifacts and we need this red eco to actually get rid of this guy's shield or I can punch it and die. <laughs> and I'm back here. Yeah, we're back at the very beginning and that happens a lot. There are very few checkpoints in this area at all. Dude, really? Oh, you're all spiky now, huh? Well, I don't care. I'm going. What? But we need the red eco to take care of that guy with the shield. It's the only way to break through it as far as I know. Unless you can sneak behind him, I'm just forgetting stuff. Uh, for now, though, it doesn't really matter too much. I can just punch you, and then you punch him. Yep, just like that. And let, let me make sure I get those two, and the one hidden behind here. I see it. I see it. I don't think there's anything we can do with this. I think this just sits here for eternity now. And I don't see anything around here. There are some spots where you can jump off and get to other things, but not really. This area is sort of because of that. Sort of reminds me of Spyro, but I think that's really all we want to do around here. We want to roll back down and go into the cave here. The cave here is super tough. It's so easy to fall down. Whoop, got it. Uh, we could go down this way or we can go into the cave. I think we'll go into the cave first because the cave is tough. So I'd rather just get that out of the way. And we got these little guys, which are super cute, but also menacing. But yeah, sometimes this area sort of reminds me of Spyro. I feel like this and the uh, spider cave, sort of spiral-like. But this is where one of those things needs to be activated because you can see we need to get one of these. So I'm sure you can piece together what it is. It's similar to the one we found in Forbidden Jungle, but we're gonna get it in a couple moments anyways. So if you can't figure it out, don't worry. Whoop. So there, here's where are some orbs that are tough to find. Like I think there are some just simply hidden in the snow. Maybe, oh, oh, come on. It's so tough to find out though. The colors look unique, yeah. This area definitely stands out from the other ones. So does like Boggy Swamp, but oh man. Boggy Swamp sort of stood out in the way that I didn't like. Oh. <laughs> that would be one of our first combat deaths because that's the first time Daxter has said anything to us when we die, but he has a couple of those. Uh. But yeah, I actually, you know, I've never realized what he was trying to say there for this. Like he says, Heimlich, Stretcher, yeah, Breathman. I actually never knew he was saying, was saying stretcher. I just thought he was just saying something really weird that I just couldn't understand. But yeah, I guess he's asking for like, you know, somebody to do the high, I'm like the stretcher, the two leg, Jack's dead. Oh no. Can you guys stop indefinitely spawning, please? Make my life a lot easier. Luckily there is a checkpoint right here that makes it better. Oh, this is so tough to make sometimes. Got it, there you go. We gotta make sure we hit every single one of these down. I don't remember why, but we just do, trust me. Got it. Oh. Ow. Come on, this is super tough. Oh. No. Especially on the ice, it's just so difficult. I don't know why they made him like that. It's really weird for sure. You can actually see under me. There is something going on there. There's a power cell. We're gonna have to check that out. That's exactly where I'm trying to go right now. I mean, I guess, I'm, I'm trying to get to everything. I think there's more stuff down here, but these lurkers are not gonna be very nice to me. I think we can get to that stuff from another way though. So I'm not gonna try to worry about it now. What is this red eco for? Where am I bringing this? I think just right around the corner. Yeah, right around here. So while I fight off these guys, are you gonna hop down or what? Uh, maybe he doesn't hop down until I destroy all the other enemies. I think that's what happens. Yep, okay. So pull out your shield, punch in, punch in. Whoa, what? What? He's weird. He's a weirdo. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't get him there. Oh, this is a cool view. This is sort of the opposite of my favorite view from the Forbidden Jungle. 
because you can just see everything again, but not really. Like you don't see everything. Like here's our path that we took to get here. That is um, right here. This is the uh, boggy swamp. I guess that should be the forbidden jungle and behind it would probably be the beginning area. Okay. So there's a couple things we can do here. Maybe I should try the things that are sort of kind of dead ends. This is one of those things, I think. And it is the Flood Flood, he's back, hooray! Now, you're not supposed to be able to bring him out here like there's an invisible, as you can see, there's sort of like an invisible wall, which is sort of lame. There is a way to glitch him through. I don't know if it's in this version, but there is a way to glitch him through. We won't be using it now, but I gotta press this button and go this way. And you can run around with him in some of the you know other snowy mountain area. It gets very glitchy though. I think you can just randomly fall through the sky or through the ground and stuff. But now we're just doing these time platform challenges that are actually really fun. This is one of my favorite things to do in this area. And I wish it would have had sort of more of this. And that's sort of the thing. I think this is the shortest Jack game. Oh, it's a tough jump to make down. Um, this is definitely the shortest Jack game because this game is a bit more based on exploration. Um, while Jack 2 and 3 do have exploration bits, but it's a lot more, you know, go to point A, go to point B, do this thing, do this mission. I mean, I know somebody was letting me know in the first episode um, that as far as they know, like they had a meeting with PlayStation on what, you know, would be good for Jack 2. And then at the time, of course, Grand Theft Auto was, oh my gosh, come on, the most popular PlayStation 2 game. It still was. I think it's the best, like the Grand Theft Auto game on PS2, whatever it is, is the most selling PS2 game of all time. So basically they tried to emulate that a bit. And you'll see it a lot if you've played Grand Theft Auto and you've never seen Jack 2. When we play Jack 2, you'll definitely see the similarities. It's not like, it's still an overall PG game. I mean, I think it's PG-13 at the worst. Um, but yeah. Uh, let's wait here. Oh, oh. Come on, come on. I'm not gonna make that jump. This last jump right here, I don't know if that's the last jump. I'm pretty sure it is though. It's so difficult. It's just, the moving platform is tough. You only have so much time to do it. That makes it stressful. You definitely want to use these little like lips that are at the edge of the platform if you can. And the double jump is good. But yeah, I wish this one was longer, had more to it, but it is also great how it is. Most of the length was introduced through the exploration. Gotta wait for this platform to raise. I don't know if this one lowers and goes up and down. It does not. So we just gotta wait and whoo, ooh. Yeah, okay, so there is actually one more scent. I don't know if this one's worse or better. We're gonna find out. Oh my, oh, this might be worse. <laughs> Come on. Luckily, we actually do have a fair amount of time. You can hear the time roll get like a little faster. Got it. Got it. And then finally, yeah, we made it. Hooray. And slam that button. Oh, okay. Well, we'll slam the button once we get the power cell because gravity only works when you're not collecting a power cell. <laughs> In this game. Oh yeah, that opens up the fortress. So now we can go inside of there. That place is a little bit of a difficult area. So uh, now, to get back, we can hop back on the flood flood, I think. Oh no, we can't. Well, goodbye, my friend, I'll miss you. I'm gonna hop on this platform. And this will bring me somewhere fantastic. Or not. Oh yeah, because then we would be able to bring the flood flood out of that area. Master platformer, not so much. I, I failed a couple times, but it is a tough area. So we're being raised up here, right to the entrance of the fortress. Not too interested in that at the moment. I mean, yeah, we won't, we won't go in there just yet. Leave me alone, sir. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, okay, I forgot about this. Hmm, okay, the red goes right here. See, this is where this area gets a little winding, a little confusing. It's just very easy to miss things like this, because there is just like an area down here, but it would be easy to just sort of forget about this and miss it. Let me slam that. I don't think there's anything down here. There's not, they're sneaking up behind me. Always makes me uncomfortable. So we need this red eco. I need to not let these guys destroy me and, okay, I thought that was my last hit. Not quite, but almost. Oh, no, come on, I got hit in the head by the rock. Ah, and not the Dwayne Johnson variety. All right, I'm popping down there again. We're getting this done. Cause I wanna definitely take care of these guys while I can. Basically, we gotta go to this little secret area. Super easy to miss this one. Not a big fan of that. Just like that, get rid of you, and then wait for this jer jerk to pop down. He's gonna get a shield, punch it, punch it, we're good, we're good. And that's all of them, okay, so we get the power cell for that, which means we've gotten all of the, whatever they are, never see them again. <laughs> it's cold out there, hey look, we got a trophy, this is our first time getting a trophy. Maybe because I have played the game a little bit when it launched back in November on the PS4, 
but I never played this far. I didn't play up to the uh, Ice Mountain. So if we look down here, is there nothing down there? Oh, well, that's where the Flood Flood thing was, right? Yes, it was. So there's no worth going back down there. We were already down there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we should be able just to go up here and be fine. I don't think there's any orbs we've missed. I mean, I've tried my best to get every single one of them, but they can be really well hidden, especially for the ones that you just sort of break. What is up here? Does this loop around back to the beginning? It's just so easy to get confused. Oh yeah, this is the place that loops around back to the beginning. And there's just multiple ways to get to the same spot, but we gotta go back down here. So I'm trying to look for one specific area, and I'm actually having a hard time finding it. But I remember this actually being one of the areas that I did not actually know where to get. No matter how long I searched for, I could never find it. I think, oh, there it is, okay. This I was like so mad about that I never was able to find this when I was like really young. But I found it, I guess whenever I first 100% of the game. Um, let's go ahead and destroy that. That's a real weirdly placed uh, scout fly. But behind the trees, there's a cave and I never noticed it. Now that I know it's here though, like in hindsight, of course, it's really obvious. This is a tough platforming section though. Um, it's all ice platforming. Okay, not all ice platforming, but majoritarily. Oh, oh, oh boy. No, I'm dead. <laughs> the red eco makes you hit harder though. It makes you um, be able to break through that guy's shield. Let's get across like that, move it, and then, oh man, it's so hard to angle up a jump when you're on the, on the ice like that. Okay. Ooh. Try to get it now, try to get it now. Oh, wow, what happened to my second jump? I pressed jump again. It is really tough to make, because you need a bit of momentum to make that jump, and it's really, really tough. Now, 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 oh, yeah, no! Wait for it to stop going that way. There we go. Oh, okay, so this pushes out. We need to be careful about that. Whoa, whoa, game, why only let me up there? I'm supposed to go up here. It's just a little difficult of a jump to make for whatever reason. It's definitely probably one of the weirdest areas, especially this camera. Oh no, I'm done, I'm dead. Gosh darn, that's really tough. They don't give you much time on that one. I definitely die a lot here. Oh, oh, wait here. Yeah, okay, that was a good one. You're getting it down a bit better. Don't have to totally rely on luck. Got it. See, that's how, I guess maybe I wasn't having a good angling there. Go, 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 go. Okay, yeah, it's better angling, better timing is all I'm looking for. What do I do here? Oh, the moving platform that you can barely see? Nice, nice. Okay, this is not a very well designed area, but it's well worth doing, because now we have the yellow eco thingamajig, and just as before, as we all know, gravity doesn't work when you're collecting a power cell and dancing. The Dax are doing the robot though, pretty darn good. And there we go, another button pressed, which unlocks that and also several others throughout the world. Hooray! Cool noise, you don't hear that noise much in this game. Oh man, that's a cool sound effect. I don't remember that too much. Anyways, is there any way out of here? Or do I have to go out again, the normal way? I think I had to go out the normal way. That's not fun. Oh no, 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 I remember now. You get to slide down this part and you sort of get the shortcut in. But yeah, now we can go back to that one race and get the yellow eco so we can break open a secret area. There's some stuff here in this area where we can get the yellow eco and do stuff there. And lots we can do now. There we go, got that. There's nothing hidden in this corner, I don't think. But I think we've gotten most of the things like down below. We haven't gone up there yet, but we're about to do that by looping around here. So basically we're gonna go loop around this area and then we'll go into the fortress as long as I don't get destroyed 70,000 times. Please no, thank you. I definitely think there's still a couple more things we've missed. I'm looking out for them. Like I think there's actually something near the flood, flood area that we haven't gotten. Whoop. Oh, gotcha, that was good, that was good. I wanna look out on the edge and look into the horizon and see the rest of the world. No, please, oh boy, hey, no! I made it and then you ruined it for me, you meanie. Oh, I didn't get this one. Oh, I wasn't over here at all. Okay, well maybe a bit of a uh, a good thing then. Get rid of the ice dude, he's not fun. Yeah, this is the area I was talking about that we missed near the foot front. And that was definitely an oof. Ugh. Ow, come on. 
Oh man, it's so hard to angle up. Can you, no, you I don't wanna deal with. Maybe I should try to back up. That's what I'm looking for, awesome. Punch, kick, it's all in the mind. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's get over here. I think that there are some hidden orbs over here, so I just wanna make sure. Oh, this is a tough jump. Up. Yep. All right, no, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. So this is, yeah, there's a little scale fly here. This one is probably the easiest to miss on this whole area. If not, maybe even in the game, it's just this little section. You wouldn't think to look down here. I mean, I guess the fall foot area is a little farther off. We just wouldn't really think to look down there. At least in my opinion. Ow, fall damage. Okay, so let's go over here. And we need to uh, cross that bridge again, because we still need to hit those barriers, which is just dandy and wonderful and fun. My second jump didn't work. I don't, oh, did I get that or not? Ow, no, come on. <laughs> At least we're heading right back over there, right? Ugh. Like I said before, the red eco makes you hit harder. There aren't too many enemies it's actually useful against, but uh, the guys with the shields are one of the few that it's useful against. Oh, the momentum just carries you too much. And like, once you jump, you can't pull back. So like, if I jump like this, it doesn't, okay, it does slightly, but not enough to save you. And I, I, I'm not surprised we're dying a lot here. You know, this is one of the areas I knew I was just going to die a lot at. Ooh. Got it, okay, so now I don't care if I fall, because I got those. I think this might be the last one here, unless there are some in the fortress, but I'm almost positive there aren't. It's good to be on some more solid ground now. Oh, yep, that was it, it spit out the, the power cell. Hooray! Okay, um, now this isn't fun. This is a bit of a tough area. I don't know why they get you, give you red eco here, because it's not actually useful, unless it maybe is for a reason I'm not sure, but all these guys get taken out in one hit. Um, maybe it's that I can actually Oh, I can destroy Dark Eco without getting hit here. Well, I can still get hit, but not always. Like if I kick at it, I guess maybe what it does is it increases my hit range, but there we go. Usually I die doing that, and I'm very surprised I didn't. It's dark in here. That's another trophy. We might be, a, you know, we should be able to platinum this. That'll be exciting, because I also have the platinum for Jack 1 in the PS3 HD remaster, which means two out of my like five platinums will both be Jack and Daxter. That's perfect. All right, if there is a platinum, there better be a platinum for the PS2 remakes. If not, I'm gonna be, I want my $15 back. Okay, so this might be a bit tough, but we need to get Blue Eco and then slam down here. But we're in the fortress now, and the fortress can be a bit of a difficult area as well, but not too bad. There's a scout fly up here, this is actually our six out of seven. Is there anybody up here? There's not. So let me get that, and then slam down like this and activate all three of these bad boys. Could have died there from fall damage. Whoop. And then get these as well. Crash bridge moments with Zebra. Oh yeah, it is like the crash bridge, isn't it? Naughty Dog has a thing for bridges that have holes in them that inevitably fall. I mean, I guess they don't fall in this game. But hey, they, they, there's definitely bridges that have holes in them that fall in Uncharted like 18 times. Naughty Dog really like bridges. <laughs> That's really weird, I never thought about that. That's a good point. Okay. Trying to make this jump, got it. We almost have 200 orbs, if we can get 240, we can go back to the oracle. Ooh, ooh, nice. This can be pretty easy to fall off from, so I'm trying to be careful. There is a bit of a shortcut we can, because if we fall now, we have to do everything we just did, just like that. Unless I can cheese it, but I don't think I can. Can I cheese it? Oh, 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 I cheesed it! <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to do that. Okay, so, but if you hit this button, it'll activate this little rock, like this little wood log there, and then now it's easier to get back up, like it's sort of a bit of a shortcut. So what's up here? There is a scout flying, the seventh of which, very cool. I'm glad to see it. Flex, Daxter, flex! Yeah, okay. How many do we have? No, wrong button. Uh, there we go. Uh, we need two more. I think one of which is right there. The other one, um, I think we need the yellow eco thing for. So I need to plop back down there. 
I'll just do that from here to make sure I don't lose or miss anything like that. Like these right here. These little guys are so annoying to hit. I just try to avoid them, to be honest. They're like the rats, but worse because they hop around a lot more. Okay, so this can be tough. A matter of timing, I guess. Oh my. Oh. Oh. And got it. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. So I just need to make my way to the end of here. All right, this is an intense area, I know. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat the entire time. All right, uh, oh boy. Let's try to get back up there, because I think we missed a uh, precursor orb. There we go. And grab that. I'm glad I didn't forget about those. That would have been awful. Now there's not anything down here, I don't think. I might as well look around, or do we just we just died from fall damage? <laughs> Oof. Okay, so there is a couple crates, but I don't see anything super crazy that we need to get. Yeah, not looking like it. Okay, well that's a good thing. That means we don't have to bother with it. Also, how are we doing on precursor orbs? We need 14 left. So I think I know where to find the majority of those, or probably I know where to find 13 of those, but there is a couple over here. So this is a platform that leads us back over to the lake area, but there are some orbs we need to get. This guy's chasing me. Oh, these guys are chasing me. Um, it can be a little bit difficult to do this, but I need to get those. I think it might be easier to start from the top and slide down, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's actually really, I don't know if you're supposed to go up these actually. I mean, I would imagine you would wanna go down these. You could just slide down. Yep, okay, there we go. So I need to angle this up just right, which is not easy to do. Oh, I got him. Okay, so what does that lead me at? Uh, I'll get up here and we'll check. Eight more, and I'm pretty sure I know where eight more are. Ow. <laughs> if we get back over to here. Oh, no, no! Where is that gonna start me at? Oh, okay. Not too far off, we're right here. Okay, so I just gotta get back up there. Because all I need to do is make this jump, which is easier said than done. But there's just a couple different things I gotta get done with this yellow eco. All the same things, but there's just several of them that got these metal crates. This one more particularly has the blast power cell in this area. Then we need to hold on to the yellow eco because you might see that with this, we broke a couple of those crates. I don't know if it's eight power cell or eight, not eight power cells, eight orbs worth of it. We're gonna find out, but for now, do that. And then, where am I going? I'm getting all turned around. Get back up here and spin and land. Are you kidding me? Okay, it restarted me here, which is good. Unless it like respawns the box, which I don't think it would. This game usually doesn't work that way. Oh, there's another box I didn't get, but it did, Save that box, but it's very easy to lose these in the snow because they're completely 100% covered. All right, leave me alone, you big bully. What would I do to you? I don't even have any lunch money. Unless you, you know, your lunch money is paid for with hundreds of precursor orbs. Then, then yeah, I definitely have your lunch money. Okay, um. Ooh, ooh. Move it. There we go, get this. And is that, oh no, oh no. Yes, okay, we did it. We didn't have to miss one. Hooray, we got all 200. We got every single power cell as well, so we are completely done the snowy mountain. Uh, oh, oh, no, I fell, oh! It might be easier to go back another way. Ah, probably not though. It's, actually, it might be. It might save me some time instead of falling down every five seconds just to go back the normal way. Well, I mean. Uh, how do I go back again? I don't remember. There's just too many areas. I think over here, I don't know. It's so easy to get lost. So easy. Yeah, I think we gotta go up there. Ooh, ooh. Okay, now we're on our way back. We are making some good progress. Oh geez, oh geez, <laughs> he was about to get me. That was scary, but I'm just so glad we got everything in one swoop. It wasn't like the, the scare of the swamp where I thought that it was just gonna be all game over. But there we go, we're done with Snowy Mountain, that's great.